Oh, it's great. Thank you. Let me know if you need anything, hon. Long wire cable. This is Dave. Hello. Uh, yes, Mrs. Hood. I I remember you. How can I help you today? Uh, Ma'am, I'm very sorry you're missing the season finale of Cupcake Wars. Uh, well, isn't there a technician on site already? No, Larry the Cable Guy does not work with us. I will call you back as soon as I can. Davy boy. Dirk? Dirk Fulton? You know it. How's my old high school buddy, huh? Buddy? I was your punching bag in high school. That's because I liked you. Oh, please, have a seat. Thanks, pal. So what's new? What's new? Uh, I haven't seen you in like 15 years. What, what are you doing here? Weren't you in Iceland playing football or something? Don't know if you've heard of it, just a little place called the Canada. Yeah, I played for 12 years in the CFL. Just retired this year. Uh, isn't that like minor league football? American football's for sissies. I played with the real brutes, guys who grew up playing hockey. I think I was the only one with all 24 teeth. You mean 32 teeth? No, I had my wisdom teeth out. Okay. Um, so why did you retire? Hey, they got this new rule about concussions. I guess they force you to retire after you've had uh, 15, yeah. Or was it 16? You know, for some reason I can't remember. Wow, that's a lot of head trauma. Ah, don't worry about it. They did a CAT scan. They didn't find a thing in there. <laughs> I see. <laughs> um, so, so you're back in town, and yet I've got a sneaking suspicion that you're not here to have lunch. What are you eating? Ugh. I don't do veggies. Okay, so why are you here? Well, I was told to come here. You were told to come here? To eat? No. Came here to find you. Me? Why? I, we haven't seen each other since high school. I don't know. Just doing what my life coach told me to do. She gave me this. Is that a Bible? No, nah, it's just some handbook. That tells you how to fix your life. Like the Bible? Huh? So, so you're here to fix your life? No, of course not. My life is awesome. Okay, so why do you need a life coach? Well, it wasn't my idea. Go on. That's eh, some little probation deal. Check this out. I got arrested by some hot cop pretending to be a hooker. I mean, can you believe they still do that? The nerve. Yeah. yeah. Um, so what are you supposed to do with that book? I don't know, something about me reconciling with all the people I hurt in the past or some crap. I wasn't really listening to her. I mean, my life coach is so hot. So, so you came here to apologize? Of course not. Okay, so why are you here? I forget. Why the hell am I here? Is it in your book? What book? The one in your hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, crap. What does it say? Well, now I'm supposed to figure out something you and I have in common. I mean, what in the hell would we have in common? You do like football, right? Not really. Cars. Baseball. Horse racing, monster trucks, corn dogs, <sighs> strippers. You do like girls, right, Dave? I'm married. And? I've got two kids. Look, I'm straight as an arrow, Dirk. Hey, whatever tickles your pickle there, man. All right, fruity pants. I'll just tell her the book's broken. Were we on the golf team in high school? Wait. Did you say golf? Uh, no, I, I didn't say anything like that. No, yeah, you said golf. What about it? You like golf? Yeah, don't, don't you remember we were on the same golf team together in high school? No. You used to grease my clubs and replace all my golf balls with the ones that exploded. <laughs> That's right, that was great. Yeah, good. Well, you know, it's too bad your, your book is broken, you know. <laughs> good luck, you know, not fixing your life. No. That's it. That's what we have in common. We're going golfing tomorrow. It's Saturday. That's okay. Um, I'll, I'll just accept your apology and we're good. Apology? 
Yeah, isn't this what this whole thing is about? You apologizing? Why would I apologize? It's not my fault you were a dork in high school. Okay, how about I just pretend you apologize? Or even. You're not getting out of this one, all right? What the hell's the matter with you, you chicken? No. Wait, look, you don't even have to worry about trying to win. You probably still suck anyway. You know what? You're right. I do suck. You should definitely find someone better to play with, you know? I haven't played in whew, years. What in the hell is this? It's zucchini. How do you eat this stuff? Oh, come on. A little zucchini never hurt anybody. <laughs> You know, a little zucchini never satisfied a woman either, huh? <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, sure. Whatever, Dirk. It's settled. Hazard Heights Golf Course tomorrow, 10 a.m. See you there. No, no, Dirk, wait. I didn't really say... What the hell just happened? Who's the dummy? I don't know. It might be me. Well, hey, beautiful. I don't know if you can help me out, but I'm looking for a good buddy of mine. His name's Dave Woodman. Dave's in there. Uh, do you have an appointment? Oh, and by the way, I'm not interested. Whoa, hold your horses, baby doll. I didn't even get a chance to introduce myself. My name's Dirk Fulton. I'm sorry, I don't see you on the schedule, Mr. Fulton. Look, please, just call me Dirk. Did you know that I'm famous in Canada? So is Alex Trebek. What's your point? Did I mention that I'm rich? <laughs> don't forget old and feeble. Oh, little lady. You know, this age is only a state of mind. Oh, who told you that? Was that nice nurse at the old folks' home? No. Yes, Dave, uh, Mr. Fulton is here to see you. What? Uh, Bonnie, I'm on the phone here. Can I wait? I have a taser gun in my purse, and I'll zap him if you'd like. Whatever. Just tell him I'm busy. That's a feisty one out there. Dirk, I'm, a, I'm on a conference call. What? Yeah. Did you see the melons on that check? Dirk, what the hell is your problem? I just said I was on a conference call. Oh, sorry. Well, have you seen them or what? A seen what? The boobs. Uh, yes, I've seen her breasts. Well, I mean, I actually haven't seen them. I mean, God, my wife... Are you nailing her? What? Nailing her? Yeah, you know, parking the car, walking the dog, hiding the bra worst. I... Isn't that what secretaries are for? No, it's not. And... I'm married, remember? There is no nailing going on. I hear that a lot about marriage. What do you want, Dirk? Well, part of my probation deal was I got put on a reading program, so... Took a trip to the adult bookstore down the street. Can you believe some of those actually have words in them now? Who'd have thunk? Books have words. I know, right? Well, anywho, I figured since I was in the neighborhood, I'd drop by and make sure you weren't going to back out on me tomorrow. Look, I just have to check with the wife, okay? You have to clear it with the wife? Yeah. Oh, you married guys kill me. Reminds me of that weekend I spent in prison. You gotta ask permission for everything. You were in prison? What? I said you were in prison. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Canadian prison. Basically just locked in a room with a drunk Eskimo and a paranoid French Canadian. I couldn't understand either one of them. So I spent the whole weekend talking to the Mountie's pet moose. His name was Bullwinkle. I'm sure. Did you see Rocky too? Oh, yeah. It was a great flick. You know, I like to warm Mr. T a little better, though. No, no. I meant... You know what? Never mind. All right, Dave. It's the wifey. That would be her. I bet you was hot before kids. I, you know what? I really have to get back to this conference call. So if you don't mind, could you just... Eh, no problem. I got a 3.30 with Ling Ling anyway. What? Dude, get with the program, Dave. It's Massage Friday, bro. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. Uh, wait, ah, Dirk, I never said I could go. Hey, babe. It was a pleasure. Trust me, the pleasure was all yours. Here's my number. Keep the 
this in a safe place. Oh, I've got a safe place for it, all right. Don't forget, I'm rich. What's up, D? You hey. done for the day? Yep, just about to head home, Freddy. How'd it go today? Not bad. Good. Did you meet your quota for the week? Almost. How many? Four. Okay, 16 out of 20 isn't too bad. Nah, I got four done. What? Are you trying to get fired? <laughs> Look, I got delayed at this lady's house all day. I couldn't get her cable working right. She kept losing her mind about missing cupcake wars. Wait, that was you? Uh, what was wrong with her cable? Nothing. She just kept giving me cupcakes. Dave, you know, I can't turn down sweets. <laughs> you know what? You're lucky your uncle owns this place. Otherwise, you'd get fired. Whatever. I'm just here because my mom would kick my butt if I wasn't. So what you got planned this weekend? Honey, do list? I swear, I don't know how you married guys put up with all that crap. No. Actually, I, I kind of got railroaded into playing golf this weekend. Do you remember Dirk from high school? Dirk? The jerk. Yes, that's the one. Didn't he pants you in front of the cheerleaders at yes, homecoming? thanks for reminding me. And everybody <laughs> laughed at your little... Hey, it was very cold outside, thank you very much. <laughs> and that time, <laughs> he glued you <laughs> to the toilet seat. Yeah, ha, ha. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I had to sit on an inflatable donut for a week. How did you run into dirt? I, I didn't. He came looking for me. He showed up at the diner out of the blue while I was eating lunch. Apparently, he's retired and he's returned home. And you're playing golf with him? Yeah, I guess so. Why on earth would you want to hang out with that dirtbag? I don't. I don't know how he convinced me to play. Okay, well, good luck with that. I wish I could help you out, man. <laughs> Wait, you know what? Maybe you can. You should come play with us. It would make it a lot less weird for me. You want me to play golf, like, like real golf, not putt-putt? Yeah, yeah, it'll be easy. All you have to do is hit the ball. We won't, probably won't even keep score. Dave, you know I'm not very athletic. I used to get picked after all the girls in PE. Oh, come on, Freddy. I really don't want to be alone with this guy, okay? I'll buy you a bear claws. Okay. <sighs> How hard can it be? I'll go online tonight and find out what I can about golf. I'm only doing this, though, because you're my friend. And because you promised me a bear claw. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Meet me at the Hazard Heights Golf Course 10 a.m. tomorrow, all right? Later. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. I, I didn't see you there. I know you were still here. Are you okay? <laughs> you, you want me to... Call someone? Uh, your mom, dad, your fiance? <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay, uh, not, not your fiance. We broke up today. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Weren't you guys together like since high school? I can't believe it's over. <laughs> I should have broken up with him a long time ago. Wait, you broke up with him? Well, then why are you so upset? <laughs> he wants the ring back. <laughs> oh, that, that, that selfish no good. I know, right? <laughs> Is there anything I can do for you? I don't know. Daddy was supposed to take me shopping tomorrow. You could if you wanted. Oh, Bonnie, I, I, I would love to, but I already have plans to... <laughs> uh, you, you know, uh, now that I think about it, uh, I'm going golfing with some friends tomorrow. You can join us if you want. Golf? I don't know how to play golf. Well, neither do I, but it's easy. You just hit a ball and hang out with a bunch of preppies all day. Oh, no. Come on. It'll be good for you. <laughs> My treat. What time? <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Dave, what happened? Are you okay? Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, wh what is that? What is what? That? Oh, it's my golf clubs. Found them. Okay, get those filthy things out of my clean house. It's just a little dust. <coughs> All right, fine. I'll oh. go and put them in my car, all right? What are you doing with your golf clubs anyway? I mean, you haven't even played in, like, eons. You're not thinking about playing again, are you? You know how frustrated you get. Frustrated? Me? Eh, it's just a game. Hey, where are the kids? I have that sleepover thing tonight at Brenner's house. Don't you forget I have that seminar in the morning. Oh. And you need to pick the kids up at 11. Right, the party, of course. I, mean, I remember. You, How could I forget our kids? You forgot, didn't you? What do you need golf clubs for? Yeah, about picking up the kids tomorrow. Um, yeah, what about it? I kind of have to play golf. You have to play golf. You can't. What you have to do is pick up our kids. Oh, but I have to play golf tomorrow. It's Dirk. Dirk? Who's Dirk? Dirk from high school, Dirk. How many other Dirks do you know? Dirk the jerk? That's the one. He's the one forcing me to play golf tomorrow morning, okay? What? Why on earth would you do that? Look, Dirk is back in town. If I cancel, I'll never hear the end of it. He'll make my life miserable forever. If you don't cancel, I'll make your life miserable forever. How's that any different than now? Excuse me? Look, Dirk found me. He's got this book and some crazy plan to reconcile with everyone he's wrong by not apologizing and by forcing people to do things that won't fix his life. And apparently, I'm the first one on this list. Okay? Right. Okay. Um, your kids are more important than Dirk. So, you need to get out of this. I can't. Why not? Because it's Dirk. If I don't play, he'll just do something bad, okay? Uh, Dave, you're being ridiculous. Look, I have to play golf tomorrow, okay? I'll just have my sister pick up the kids. No. You need to grow up and stand up to him. Honey, please, just let me get this over with and I'll never have to deal with him again, all right? You know... There are no kids tonight. I could make it up to you. Don't even think about it. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> I am so sorry. Are you okay, sir? Check us! You did it. What the hell was that? It's hilarious is what that was. I could have killed that guy. <laughs> that old codger? He'll walk it off. It's almost tea time. You ready? Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for someone to arrive. You invited someone? Uh, yeah, uh, well, he was just so excited to see you. How could I say no? Oh, really? What's up, ladies? <laughs> oh, good lord. Is that a kilt? <laughs> what did you buy? <laughs> Freddy the Freak. <laughs> you North Korean fruitcake. How's your dad, Jim Kong Il, doing? <laughs> <laughs> Dirk! So good you're keeping up on the times. I'm adopted. My parents are from South Korea. <laughs> There's a difference? <laughs> God, you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, Freddy, are you for forgetting something? Ha <laughs> ha! Check this out. <laughs> How much money did you spend on this stuff? Figures. First he shows up in a dress, now he's got a purple golf bag. <laughs> oh yeah? Wait till you see what this purple golf bag can do. Oops, <laughs> wrong button. <laughs> Are you guys ready to tee off or what? Actually, I've got someone else coming. You invited somebody? Yeah, uh, um, I'm sorry guys, I had to do something, she was crying. Excuse me, she? Yeah, woman, female, skirt, boobs. Girls are not allowed to golf. Where have you been? Don't you know what golf stands for? Yeah, it's <laughs> Scottish. It means to strike something. No, jackass. It's a homo nib. It's posted right there on the door. Okay. It means girls are not allowed. First off, it's an acronym. And secondly, that sign's on the men's room. 
What you're referring to is an age-old wives' tale that men have been perpetuating for years, uh, signifying their perceived dominance over women. What? Oh, whatever. Just please tell me she's not a total cow. Look, here comes Bonnie now. Bonnie from work? Yeah! Hello, Bonnie. Couldn't get enough of me, huh? Gentlemen. And Dirk. Please, call me Dirk. I just did. But I can think of another name if you'd like. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> so, Bonnie, I didn't know you played golf. I don't. I was a cheerleader in high school, but I never played golf before. Actually, I found my old uniform in the back of my closet, and I thought it kind of looked like a golf outfit, right? Mm -hmm. I was afraid it wouldn't fit, though. It, it fits. fits. <laughs> so, Bonnie, did you bring any clubs? No. I thought they gave them to you like in miniature golf. No, that's okay. We'll just go rent you some. Uh, go back to the clubhouse and I'll meet you there in a second. Okay. <laughs> Woohoo! That's what I call a wagon. Let me see, let me see. I expect you two to act like gentlemen today. Yeah, 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 yeah no problem. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is not as nice. Ow, I think I'm blind. Wait. Oh, sorry, I thought you weren't supposed to wear underwear with a kilt, like a Braveheart. Actually, it's a pretty liberating. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you get a great breeze, but you know, just keep it to yourself, all right? <laughs> you know, it's all about rhythm and timing. Here, let me show you. No, it's all right. I got it. It's all in the hips. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. <laughs> Good one. All right, let's get started. This is straight away, 378 yard par four. Ladies first. Oh, no, that's okay. Uh, you guys can go first. All right, I'll show you how it's done. Ha! Ah, that's one stroke. Ha! Ah, very funny. Just warming up. That's not what it says here. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. There you go, baby. You like that, don't you? Not bad. My turn. What the heck is that? Just a little something extra I picked up. The Rocket Driver RLS X350. Supposed to add an extra 50 miles per hour to your drive. Asian technology. Four. You're supposed to say that before the ball kills someone. My bad. Well, I guess it's my turn now. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if I remember how to do this. <laughs> Dirk! That's funny, man. <laughs> Don't encourage him, okay? It's <laughs> good. Mm -hmm. Come on back. Come on. Come on back. <laughs> nice, dude. Nice. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, my turn. Okay. okay. Uh, you know you can use the first tee box. It's for girls. Well, then why didn't you use it? Ooh, snap! She burned you. <laughs> All right, guys, don't laugh at me. It's my first time. Oh, don't worry, you'll do fine. Just, just hit it right down the fairway, okay? Here goes nothing. Don't you? 
<laughs> Beginner's <laughs> luck. <laughs> Golf is fun. Come on, guys. <laughs> Golf before? Honest, never. Freddie was right. Golf is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say a word. Word. Ow! Found it! <laughs> no! Put it down! You gotta play it where it landed! What? Put it back down! I gotta hit it out of this! You gotta play it where it landed! <sighs> okay! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I already hate golf! No, wait, wait, Bonnie, wait. We hit this one off the tee. This is what you want to hit in the fairway. What's this? That's an iron. This is a driver, that's an iron. Okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, 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 Bonnie. We don't use a tee in the fairway. Okay? Oh. <laughs> I'm learning from the master. Damn it. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Don't expect any luck on this shot. There's no way she makes near three. <laughs> okay. Go ball. Go ball. Go. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Unbelievable. Do that? What? Hey, dirt. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> How'd it get so deep? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's that's enough. We we don't need to do this. I'm spelling my name. Okay, let me just thank you. Meanie. Dang water hazard. Gotta play it as it lies. 
Gotta play it as a lies. Gotta play it as a lies. Good luck, babe. <gasps> this is off limits. Hey guys, check out this putter. Laser alignment technology. What? Sounds good. Cool. Come on. Let's go, Chief. Let's go. What else can go wrong today? Come on. What's up? Cart won't start. <laughs> I've got an idea. Huh? What'd I tell you? I can't believe I got beat by a girl. Oh, you didn't get beat. You got spanked. <laughs> no, I would enjoy a spanking. This is just embarrassing. Oh, cheer up. At least we all had fun. Yeah. Fun? Yeah. Is that what you call it? Yeah. Losing is never fun. You know what? In fact, I'm going to pretend it never even happened. Oh, you mean like that time the girl dumped you in high school because of your third nipple? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It's just a big mole. I had it removed. Hey. Hey, Dave, what's up with that old guy that keeps staring at you? Oh, look, Dave. Guy wants to punch you out. You better watch your back when you leave. Don't worry, Dave. I got your back. I got nunchucks in the car. What the hell do you need nunchucks for? Look at me. Do I look like I know kung fu? One in a million day. Total fluke. Oh, that's all right. You'll do better next time. Next time? What can I get you? Uh, beer. 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 I'll take a nice red wine with an oak barrel finish and a hint of dark chocolate. What? I like wine. Ooh, I'll have the Cabernet. Oh, uh, make sure to put this on his tab. Thanks for the beer, Turkey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, actually, thanks for the invite. I had a good time. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you know what, guys? I have my weekends free now. We should, like, totally do this every weekend. What do you say? I'm in. Dave? Uh, you know, I gotta check with the wife first, so... Dave? Dave. All right, fine, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that stupid handbook. Ow! Nice job, bruiser. Some of Hazard Heights is filmed at the Knollwood Golf Course at the Knollwood Country Club in Granada Hills, California. The Knollwood Country Club was designed with superb events in mind. For weddings, banquets, corporate events, private functions, and more, the Knollwood Country Club will provide a memorable event for you and your guests. Visit knollwoodgc.com.